What's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to more Horizon Forbidden West. Took a day off yesterday, just to kind of reset. Um, you need a day off every now and then. We were going for about seven or eight days straight, so it's always good to have a day off in between there sometimes, just to kind of relax the mind, get your uh, adrenaline back up, and just kind of um, get ready. So, and for me, having ADHD is is something that you have to think about when you play video games because if you play something for too long at least the way that my mind works is that sometimes it can become boring for you so you got to give it a little bit of a rest uh, so you can come back into it and uh, be stronger than ever so as you can see we have six skill points that we need to do so first things first is let's over let's head over here and let's get this i don't know if we can or not i don't know if we have enough we just need to get one but as you can see they cost significantly more so there's two for that and it looks like we will have enough to unlock it there we go so now we have <clears throat> an overcharge module to your spear immediately trigger a powerful shockwave damaging all enemies in the vicinity and let's go ahead and equip that I just want to remember this is where you got to equip it Uh, but we still have two more points, so what else can we do? Let's go in the... We really have nothing over here, do we? Oh yeah, that's right, let's get this. I think we gotta... yep. Not at all, we need three. Alright, well, we'll have to wait for one more then. And we'll be able to do that. So, welcome! Everyone, greetings. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So our main quest is the Dying Lands. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have completed every side quest that we've had so far, which is a total of one, two, three, four, five. Uh, errands, we've completed every errands. Uh, or not everyone, but we just have the Enduring left, and that's because we haven't... It's a level 32. No jobs. Uh, we've completed all the salvage quests that we've had so far. Uh, there is... The Daunt Hunting Grounds, um, we have, as you can see, we've already technically completed it, so I don't even know why it's still there. Or why it still shows up as not complete, but... Melee Pit, uh, we've done pretty much all of that stuff, <clears throat> except for a few things. Uh, Rebel Camps, Rebel Outposts, we've been... I mean, honestly, we've been, like, you know, doing as much stuff as we could. So why don't we do this cauldron? Find the Core. So, should be able just to uh, fast travel right there. But all we need to do <coughs> is stand close to here. Now watch this. If you stand close... If you stand close to the fire, it automatically assumes you're at the fire. As long as you're close to it, then you're able to do it. Side quests have actually been pretty, pretty fun. We're going to do this cauldron now. Quick with frost ammo. Gotcha. All right, let's head inside. <clears throat> Hope you all are having a great day. This will be our first cauldron. Should be able to hack this open. No turning back once I'm inside.
Love the way these look, though. They just look like they'll hold up. about to enter a cauldron and won't be able to exit until you complete it. Make sure you're prepared. Ooh. That means we're gonna have a lot of enemies to face off against, it looks like, so I hope we're ready. Let's do some blast traps. Get ourselves reacquainted here. Weird. My screen went black uh, for a second. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Here we go again. Whoa, what the heck is this? Uh, so far, I think there's going to be some new mounts, but as of right now, we haven't found any new mounts yet. I'll have to find a different path. Let's go ahead and mark some enemies. Where is this thing? What is it that's seeing me? about powerful yeah this actually feels pretty cool there's something over there but I have no idea how we're gonna get it maybe on the way back I guess I should be I able to get across if I have that node near the gap So these must be like uh, this this game's versions of 
dungeons, right? Which means we're probably gonna have like a big boss at the end. Packs full, but my stash has room. I wish that they would find a way to explain that. You know, it's like I don't mind. Actually, I, I think it's great that everything is going to the storeroom, but I don't know. I feel like they could have. They could have found a way to explain why it's going to the storm or how it's going to the storm. Like she has a device that can teleport things or something, you know. water you'd be able to get into. Well, I'm not just going to jump down there and assume that we can. We know how this works. Definitely not like that. Oh, thank God. Jeez. Oh. Looks like this is where I get off. Well, that sucks. That ruined me being able to do that. Did you see that? I had the stealth, but I couldn't do it. Oh my god. I couldn't do it because he went on the other side of that door. Just enough. Oh, jeez. That sucks. I'll just take it down from here, I mean. Let's take a little bit of your stuff. You don't need to do you. Yeah, much better. Alright, one left. Show your head, bud. Oh, he don't want to play this game. There you go. See, that wasn't so hard. All right. Have to climb. I think I gotta do it all over again. when I need it. Well, maybe she can, but I don't think I'd be able to. I don't know. Where's the... Okay, so there's got to be a way to get up here. Okay, there. Uh, you have to do it from over here. 
I can't believe they want you to go through all of this. Literally just to grab a die. Or what is... I don't even know. I mean, what is that even? We've got plenty of them through our journey, but I can't remember exactly what it is. Oh, it won't let me grab it. You're not going to let me grab it? Or... Okay. There we go. Fill my patch with these later. Nothing like some good blast pace. Really, nothing else. All right. I mean, technically, I could just go back, get on that thing. Where are they going, though? They're going off to the side, and then they're going back up to the end. So I wonder if that would be, like, an easy way to get, literally, to go back to the very beginning. Okay, there we're, we're across from where we started right there, so. You see how it's going up? You could you you could literally take that all the way back up. Once you drop down, you can't come back up. Well, you can, I guess. I should be able to climb these vents if I time it right. up some more free goodies. I don't know, did I even do any cauldrons in the first game? I'm drawing a blank. Okay, so it won't let me jump. Oh, I see. Are they on a timer? Hold on, let me see. They most certainly are. I have to time it better. Green is always lurking. He's a lurker. He's a lurky lurkster. I don't know why I want to shoot that, but... Alright, clearly we can just jump across. I mean, that's not going to be a... difficult thing. Um, gliding is probably out of the... Just imagine, man, the, the amount of time it takes to make something as intri intricate as this and probably have multiple ones of them, all with different ways of beating them. Maybe I can use that. That's a lot of effort.
stupid. My god. You were so easy to stealth, green could even do it. for the best I guess you just jump jump on this thing but you can't oh I guess that works so good now I just need to jump off the right time Is careful. She talks very, very small. I wish she would talk a little bit louder. Obviously, gonna take this thing out because I want whatever it's got. Oh, I didn't know you were gonna come all the way up here. me out for a while. Us. Man, it like does a double move that can be really hard to understand what the hell that is. Oh, you hit it already! There you go. Whoa! Double move. There you go. Really, the only thing's left on the back or on the bottom. And essentially can't even hurt me anymore. Oh. We picked up some good stuff there, though, because we decided to take off these shield walker claws.
Hey, Dwayne. All right, we got a cauldron door. We got this. I'm just looking around here, make sure we don't miss anything. Those metal carriers can get me close to the core. How do I reach them? That's an awkward place for that. Can I grab it? No. Gosh, there's another one down here. What what am I supposed to do with this these ones? Okay, there's the beginning of where we started. Right? Because we can't no, that's a different that's a different one. I've gotta say that we've been here already. Go to this door like we originally saw. Okay, so now I see we're back right there where we originally came in. And if you take a look, I don't think there's a way. I mean, yeah, I could climb on there, but it's only going to take me back over there. Why is there two... There's go to the core and there's jump on the metal carriers. I think I see. Could try getting to that arm below. Oh, it takes her forever to climb. Ooh, barely made it. Jeez.
I made it this far. Just have to hold on a little longer. I'm gonna have to get off this thing soon. Those arms can help me reach the core. Just have to get to Can't help but be just impressed with what they've done here. They really do, man. I'm glad we have a company like Sony that really wants to put out single player adventures like this. I'm fine with having a Sony and a Microsoft. They both do things the best way that those machines can do, so I mean... Okay, we got a new Wild Mall. It's a level 15 ambitious machine. Vacuums up resources. Purge water damage. It's weak versus purge water. So I have something for purge water. So, if I go to my inventory... Disables elemental attacks. So, my... Um... Supposed to be... Supposed to be able to craft arrows to do that, but I, I, I saw a thing that came up with it, but I don't see anything that has... Frost. See all of its frost. I could have swore I unlocked something that had purge water. A large Clemson. There we go. Purge water trap. Simple trap that explodes on contact when shot. Okay, we got three of them. I've never seen machines like that. I guess it's deactivated for now. All right, we got a big fighting area here with all kinds of traps. The cauldron door. There's the core. Now I just need to access it. I'm having a blast playing this. 
I don't see how you could play this and not enjoy it. I just don't see how you could even do that. Guess I'm not getting those overrides without a fight. Wrong button. Just gotta press it. that purge water trap just do? Didn't do shit. Unless I did it wrong or... I mean, this boss doesn't seem like it would be, it's gonna be killer hard. Sucks you in though. Oh my god, there's two of them? So this is... Jeesh. I'm already down to that much health. Get out of the way! You can actually, it throws it all around, so you don't know exactly where to throw it. Oh, jeez, dude. This is crazy. I got no health. Just in time, too, with no health. Now, I could have used these. Small health potion. There, see? I got plenty of those. It's just a, in the heat of the battle, sometimes I forget. Full. I can get it for my stash later. Can you take it off? No, probably not. All right. They had no health here. That should help me run machines out in the wild.
Oh, you can hold up and it'll fill? Okay, see, I didn't know that. I thought just you could only press up. Ladies and gents, cauldron complete. Now we can go ahead and grab. Finally, the three arrows. So aim with L2 and fire with R1. That's the warrior bow. Yeah, they're all, it's on the warrior bow. She just got to remember that it's part of the warrior bow. That attracts, detonate it with a melee attack to deal extra damage. That's different. We're going to go ahead and do it, though. Just got to remember that we got to switch to the warrior bow to do it. Can we ride it? Took it down already? Jeez. Well, that guy didn't last very long now, did he? Let's try our new warrior bow. Uh, The shock probably isn't going to do much damage. Oh crap, man. I got to get out of here. What the hell is going on? Oh, I don't have enough. Much better. There you go. I see. Okay. Doesn't give me enough time. There you go. All right. Shock arrow is very good against stalkers. I'll try to remember. We need to get more of these. So I see those berries that you see on top of 
the 8 out of 12 lets us know that it's like our additional reserve. Very cool. What do you say we head to Plain Song now? We've done the Cauldron. We've done every side mission that we could or that we've had unlocked to us up to this point. There's a unknown campfire up here. All right, headed to Plain Song. Oh, it's a plow one. Okay, so it's not like we're... Yeah, don't have to worry about them. They're not going to hurt us. They're the good machines. of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like the Otaru could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. Look at that beautiful music. Alright, so as you can see, we made it into Plain Song for the first time. However, look, I totally forgot about this. There is side missions back when we first finished the big fight uh, against the new enemies that we have only encountered once. Um, so I do remember there was some side missions right here. I would be an idiot to not partake in such adventures. Uh, let's see, we got POW, pouch upgrades, potion upgrades. Don't need any of that right now. Let's see. Traps. No. Sure. 
Shock Warrior Bow, let's do it. Alright. Food pouch. Hey, Leanne, thank you so much for the tip. Mm, I appreciate it. Mucho gracio. You got anything for me? No, nope, just fast travel packs. May your arrows hey, find their mark. What do you want? Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. Sooner you all go, the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but... Ray is going to die. I'm not beating the game, no, but like I am doing us. every side mission. Meanwhile, Outlanders before I, come, taking I always complete side missions left. before I continue Just story. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Antaru girl behind her like a slave. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja Huntress with a new Taru thrush. What, am I talking to myself here? Yes. Saw them just today running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaro girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. Thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. Wow, she's mean. Alright, we got a new side quest. Right at the level we're currently at, so that's good. Find the Karja Huntress. Sounds like someone I know. You might want Southwest. To... I should start there. I wonder what she's doing all the way out here. Just so happens we have a campfire unlocked close to it. Yeah, I would imagine I'm pretty far from completing the game still. We've only just gotten to the west. And out of that, we've been doing, like, all the side missions you could possibly do. The Karja Huntress with a new Taru has promised. We may have company. Dude, I like her outfit. You see that, Milo? You have to wait for an opening. Not see that coming. Oh, hey, it's my best friend. What are you doing? There, my get out of the way because you still take damage no matter how far away you are. Oh! 
Jeez. It takes too long to recover, man. That's the only downside. Oh my god, it still hit me somehow. Sure, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah, I saw that coming. You can't get away from that. When it does that move... You can't get away from it. Like, you, you can dodge all you want, but it doesn't help. I was stuck. I'm stuck to the side of the tree. I couldn't jump any further back. Nicely done. Likewise. Come over here. Send this to my stash. When those things jump on you, man, you just, you can't, you can't dash away. Sunhawk Talana Cain Kadish. Aloy despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Renma, the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, and... Now he's missing. Thanks for the tip, Sakari. We have, what, four of them unlocked, I think? But we don't have any of them mastered. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. So, oh, me lose your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry, you're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? 
The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. A hunter-killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize the Lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. I want her outfit. Challenge. I don't remember others in the lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out the door. And I'll get back to it as soon as I find Amadis. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battle feels this way. So this battlefield... You said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja the army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but... They underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good... Alright, we're about to meet the threshold of where we were. Although we're he heading to Shadow's Reach. It was too late. He's been on the run ever since. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to me. I waited, but it never came. This is the field where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. But there are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osram. It's too many to tell if Amadas is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were Osaram here? Cooking fire. Looks recent. Whoever was here camped out for at least a night. Karja weapon. The blades rusted. Must have been from the battle years ago. Hmm. Light prints. Not Osirum, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me.
than Utaru. What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. Let's Our ask handlers. him. Let me guess. You're straggling. Mm. Got left behind. Mm. Mm. Well I can send it to my stash. Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone, clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here, poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned, but others, the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison, or a Karja graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amatis. Lead on. You mentioned Amatis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them pretty... Yeah, we're opening up more and more stuff now. Is there instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, there's always... Every two Where's seconds, there's always something for you to pick up. Like there's a tunnel. <laughs> Shell snapper. But I haven't seen us yet. We can use that. Hawk and thrush. Just like old times. Shell bolt. It's a key upgrade resource, and that's on the very back of this. Are you kidding me? I could literally take off every little part of this thing. I'm gonna view it in the notebook first. See what I want and what I don't. Detachable components, the processing capsule. Valuable, that's what I want. The shell bolt. Weak versus acid and fire damage. So what I'm going to do, because of what I specifically want, is I'm going to take everything but the... Sh the Shell bolt's the only thing I want to tag. Alright. Makes it a little bit easier to know. See? You could literally take down this entire creature without him ever, like, doing anything to you. He's like, what keeps hitting me? And to the point where he's, he's just gonna die all of a sudden. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do this. I really don't want to wait forever. Between you and me, this will be quick. Oh. 
Whoa. I got you covered. Take this ammo. That's cool. Whoa. Did not see that one coming. Oh my god. Oh, he's so close. I'm just gonna stick to this weapon. Hello. so difficult to do this. I could... to hunt by your side again. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. All right, we did get one. Okay, we have one with an empty spot. Yep, I always go about 11 a.m. Eastern for the most part. This note was left by an Osram. Delving there, down. it's a dead end. That sounds like someone I know. It says he's moving on. Huh. I wonder where to. Talana, I think I found something in the rubble. What is it? What does it say? It was part of the caravan that went through here. The note ends abruptly when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? <sighs> I don't know. These mountains are pretty steep. Then I'll have to find a way. Thank you, Aloy, for coming with me this far. But I've taken up enough of your time. Here, take this. May it help you on your own hunt. 
W hold on. How do I get in contact with you if I find a way across the mountains? I'll check in with Milu at Stone's Echo whenever I can. If you find a way, leave word with her. I will. Good luck. You too. Tiana seems really worried about her friend. I wish there was more I could do, but... I don't think there's a way past these mountains right now. So this tells me eventually we're going to be able to get past these mountains. There's a new one. It's on hold. It's a level 25. Until finds a way across the mountains. Alright, so as you can see, everything is done. I mean, literally. We've done all what we can. Alright. I think that was the last side mission. Stop for later. This will be a way to get into this next area. We're just not into the story enough to do the spine break. There's a workbench and an exit. What? Missing tool, okay. All right, let's go ahead and head to back to here. And let's continue on with that main mission. If the land gods were on our side, I doubt they could save us. Outlander, hear me out. A word of warning? Avoid the ruins northwest of Plainsong. Scouts say something lights up the ruins when night comes. Whatever it is, it's not natural. Good to know. New Relic Ruin. Nice. It's a level 15. It's 693 from here. Let me see. But it's... It's way out there. Let's continue the mission first before we get to that. Oh, I got five skill points, man. My god, we can almost totally do... Why don't we just go ahead and do that? We're going to go ahead and fully upgrade. Get our infiltrator fully upgraded. Maybe we're taking a look. So, is something wrong? I hope your friend is ready for what lies ahead. Hey, how goes Aloy it? has handled harder problems than this. I'm here, as promised. It's singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe.
So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. All right, I see a few side quests here already. I see an unknown. Let's go ahead and start unlocking some of these things here. the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. Looking forward to our ship. Yeah, I agree. I definitely need some people ahead of me to keep me on track and make sure. All right, so the hunting grounds was just unlocked. Machines to singing. What do we got here? So we've got the Frost Hunter Bow, Slicing Hunter, Acid Warrior, Sharing Warrior, Hard Weave, Sharp Shot Bow. Oh, excuse me. Question is, Green, were you level 17 when you just got to Plainsong? Were you doing all the side stuff like I did? We don't have a Grazer Circulator. Alright, I don't really see there's, there's anything we need right now. Purge water, tra fast travel. I think we're good. As I get my supplies, I'm heading back to the hunting grounds. Let's check out our bench. I'm looking for that uh, die lady. Maybe it's a question mark over here. There's a few question marks. Stitcher, there we go. Might be over here. Nervous. Bringing an outlander before the chorus. I hope this works. It'll be worth it, so we'll see. That's the potion person. Oh, these people gathered. Reminds me of Mother's heart back in the Nora Sacred. All right, we got some new outfits. These some rare outfits. See if they look cool. I'm all about looking cool. Ooh, low profile, stealth ranged. With the four level infiltrator, but we need a shell walker circulator. Man, we did just fight a shell walker too. Oh, you guys are so cool. Woohoo. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Yes, I want this armor. Do I freaking ever? 50% healing and healing speed? Oh my god, yes, I want this. That's my new uniform.
It's so weird. Why does that one say first? Oh, because I can sell it. I don't really need this anymore, so shouldn't I sell it? But I suppose I'll keep it. Lance, you know what suits you. Everyone would crowd around to hear oh, look at this. You must be so A little. Shell walkers are the crab dude. No, the shell walker is the isn't. Okay, I don't know. They have to break some damn names and so similar. Look at that. That is a badass outfit. Dude, look at that outfit. This should be like an in-game outfit based off of looks alone. That is bad freaking arsh. Nervous. Bringing an outlander before the chorus. I hope this works. It'll be worth it, so we'll see. Aloy, good to see you again. Of course. Aloy, wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plain Song? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. Won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. Dude, this might be my in-game outfit. Just because of the more? looks. <laughs> we don't have much, but if you need a warm meal, we can trade. I still haven't found the die person yet, which you guys were talking about. But we still have a little bit to look around here. Me. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but we barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? Everyone asks so much of her. Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tanakhs. They live to fight, as usual among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the Western clans. They're not attacking here. Can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in River Hymn's Grove, a gift from the Buried Years, which I believe Outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll never leave. We sacrifice too much. You said your own people won't help. Thanks for the, the hundred likes, is everybody. to speak for all Utaru, and normally I wouldn't question them. But they see outlying settlements like Riverhem as lost lands. You know this no music reminds me of Bioshock protection. Infinite, the very beginning. You guys remember when they he first got on the them. hovering station? Kind of reminds me of that when he's like kind of walking through and getting baptized. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. Kind of, uh, it's kind of made me almost want to play it too. Like, I haven't played Bioshock in a while, and I know they're coming out with a new one. So as you can see, even more side missions here. I can get to it. It won't... Hold on. There it is. 
the roots that bind and uh the ruin there's the rebel outposts all right so where's this die woman i still haven't found her Wow. Just stop and smell the freaking roses, bro. Hello. Restrain yourself, Sprout. Need to get to there. It's just below us, I think. Brighter day, stranger. For a game of strike any takers all right so there's the strike game okay i need to figure out how to get up One more level. I think we've unlocked everybody. Where is this die person? I keep seeing this these die things, but where in the heck is the die? Outfit dies. Dire, right there. 70 meters away. I just want to see what the die person has. Oh, these people gather. Reminds me of Mother's heart back in the Nora Sacred Lands. Everyone would crowd around to hear what the matriarchs had to say. You must miss him. A little. That is the die person. That's what it is. I just I thought that was the potion thing. You're a Nora, aren't you? Haven't seen one since I visited Hunter's Gathering. I didn't think the Utaru traveled that. I saw the bowl. I thought it was potions. For my dies, I like to see how different tribes use roots and plants to make new colors. It's amazing how the right hue can make armor express so much more than its mere function. I have some samples, if you're interested. A 
Oh, nice. You've got Blood Dusk. Stormbird Skies. And Verdant Jewel. I kind of like the, the no die though, almost, except I really like the red and the white in this one. I'm going to go with the blood. Oh, that looks cool. Midnight Bloom. I gotta say, I'm very, very impressed. Nice pink. We'll stick with what we got right now. It's nothing compared to the Tanakh Dyers. They may not be the friendliest of tribes, but if you bring their Dyers plants or samples, they might show you their skills. I'll keep an eye out for them. Children. Well, because there's another bowl with a spoon, I think, for the food and maybe for the poison. At least it was similar. Okay, so we've done that. Is there anything... Let me look in the map. As I zoom out a little bit, there's some question marks and some unknowns that we have to get to. But I'm going to go ahead and say that we're going to continue the mission first. And then once we open up this area as we start traveling out then I think we can get to the stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and say let's continue with the main mission now, and then we will do the side quests once we move forward into the west. So the singing just keeps going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not going to have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are oh, I ready? can tell you a thing or two about Tapanyaka. That's for sure. All right, so what, what should I do, guys? I've got this option to say, not yet, or let's go. Should I do it? What do you guys think? Should I hit let's go, or should I go not yet? Now that I'm looking at her mask, I'm not liking this white color, but it's okay. If we need to get, change the dye again, we can always go back. I'm pretty sure we could probably just change it on the fly. I'm just not sure if there's something I could be missing, but I think continuing the story is going to be the best thing for us to kind of continue on. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. All right, let's go talk to them. And everyone's agreeing. sacred cave there's something inside I need if I can get it, it so will and the Nora have spread word of your story and what you want we I know always have, have no a do spirit in the cave only Fa our land god who entered the cave and did not return the power of the land gods is broken we are diminished tales of spirits will not help us Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? 
So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Dude, you're the one wearing that shit. Come on, bro. Please. Remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zo. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. How? Oh. By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders in to play Impudent? Song? Hey, I just had a kid. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone Jerry, outlander Jerry, can say Jerry. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. It's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there's nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. Okay, all of a sudden we just became Pirates of the Caribbean. This way, Aloy. Follow Zoe to Chicken Cordon Blue. All right. One of my favorite dishes. In the fields ahead. Get this from my stash when I need it. These machines don't. We've seen these machines before. We must have come from the corner. The others will defend planes. We have to move. Right. Um, yeah. Oh, hey, hey! I'm in the middle of trying to do this mission. Why are you being so mean? I'm gonna need you to shut up now. Can't you see we're trying to make it to Chicken Court on Blue? No respect. I'm doing good. How you doing, Alfie? I'm here. Let's go. More machines. Whoa! Look at it burn. Shotgun machine. What? You want us to shoot them? Are you sure? Are you hey, sure we need to shoot them? You want some help? Nah, we'll just keep going. These machines are stronger, deadlier than normal. There's more than just a miracle that we see a god in that cave. Sure has an arm to the teeth. The path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. Nobody respects my authority. More machines. We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Oh, 
Oh my god, you came at me? But you were like all the way on the other side. How'd you do that? Whoa, what the hell? I'm gonna need you to like. Thank you. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and die. Real shit, like. Oh crap. Get up. Oh my god, dude, seriously. Oh my god, seriously. What happened to the weapon that was just there? These people keep getting in the way. The blue hell is some shit! This is behind. Would you leave me alone? Let's do it. Aloy, are you all right? No. That's the last one. Now onto the cordon. That's all. The Let's go. Right behind you. Man, when they come at you, they come at you like spider monkeys. I have unused weapon and outfit modifications. I can grab this from my stash later. All right. Uh... Oh, I do have an empty slot. I didn't realize I had a weave that I can go ahead and put into this. Acid, melee defense, shock defense, low health regen, melee. A lot of defensive ones. It's all defense. All right, well, that also we're, uh, we'll go up with this one. Cool. I love that system. Thank you for letting me know about that green or else I would have never known that that's something you should do. I would have always thought that you had to go out and find them or restock at your stash. Machines broke through. What happened to the Gordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Where's this taking us? We're already that far away, nice.
I'd rather hear it from you guys than miss it, though. Recording. Oh, what's left of it? So many dead. They will be more when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. Into the cave. This game is like an OCD's nightmare. An OCD person's nightmare. My wife was playing this. She would literally stop every two seconds because she'd... Oh, oh, piece of candy. Oh, piece of candy. Oh, piece of candy. Oh, piece of candy. <laughs> you know, I debated doing this playthrough on hard because I thought to myself, well, this game is probably going to be so long that it's going to take me such a long time to do a walk a walkthrough. Maybe I should just play this on hard and then not worry about doing a walkthrough on it. But I imagine that um, if and when I do a walkthrough for this game, it will be on the hardest difficulty, but it also will take a very hey, long Lord. time. We should head into the cave. And I won't put it out until it's complete. Down to a drizzle. Almost over. May the land gods forgive our trespass. What the hell? So why? Why? I don't know. Why is there even something here? What's the point of climbing right there? I see you gonna do that to me. All right, I see. A kind of wall made of light. We'll have to find a way around. We'll follow your lead. Up here. Yes, you guys can probably hear Nintendo down there barking up a storm because most likely mom has has put Nintendo up the stairs so Ella can walk around door. and he upset because he can't be near mama. Shut the door because that can be annoying. On the temple, just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I hope. Now, listen the machines we've been fighting, they're different, more dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. It's kind of hard to take Aloy serious when she's got a sadomasochist outfit on. We have 
to find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Not go the way I wanted it to go. Trying to knock off as much stuff, much stuff as I could. Then they aren't just made. They really get a lot. They're being repaired too. And the spirit you're after is in here. Minerva? Maybe, but I have a feeling that's not all. Places like these makes killing machines. It's called a Festus. Even the mountain is wrong. Almost feels like every mission, main mission, is like in game mission, you know? Looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. What are those panels on the floor? Shoot the gears. I can walk them into place. Make a path up.
Okay, so device. The second I shoot them. I can lock the pillars into place. Well, let me look around first. That's why I get too so super confused. Okay, so... How do I... I don't know. I'm a little confused right now, guys. Um... I know stepping on this does something. But see how he moves off? Go, stay on it! It's almost as if I, I need to tell him to come over here and stay on it. If I could get him to stay on it, then I, that'll line up. I've been in an old world. What else does? What else waves? Is there something I need to... No, it just isn't. Are you really not going to jump up there? <laughs> it makes you so happy. It doesn't make me happy. Um, only thing I can do is stand on this. You have to hit it. You hit what? You hit this with your bow and arrow? That works. Yeah. Same. Okay. See, so yeah, I would have never thought to so, hit it with my bow. Can you stand on that panel? Never. Like this? Good. Stay there. That did something. That did something. And then I just jumped Gosh. off like an idiot. Are you alright? Yeah, just have to climb back up now. Oh jeez, why do they make this? I never said I was good at puzzles. Anyone that says Strange says he's good at puzzles. They are lying out their eyes. Heavy. I think I can get the crate through that shield. But I'll have to go around. Guys, I'm not always looking at the chat. I can't always see what people are saying. Just because someone says what I'm supposed to do in the chat doesn't mean I've actually seen them say it. <laughs> so you can you can grab this. My guess is we need to unlock this. Oh, it can go through. I didn't think you'd be able to. Nope. No. 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 Grab it from this side. There you go. Okay, getting there. Does it mean I know what I'm actually doing with this? Oh, I think I gotta get it to stand on here. The gears on the pillars should be exposed now. Looks like 
Looks like there are only two pillars this time. spot to lock into place. I need to shoot the gears when they rotate to the right spot. Okay, I see. So the first one I can do from here. One more. Almost had it. Floor panel nearby to activate them. Right there's one, and there's two. Okay, I just go a little faster this time. Okay, so I made it up here. How do I slow down? Hmm. I don't know this one. This is the one I'm stumped on. No. Once I jump up there, I, I, I won't make it. I won't make that jump. Uh, so I have no idea from this point what I need to do. This is the only one that's kind of stuck. It's moving too fast. I don't see any other way around. Shoot the thing by the floor plate you just left. Is there, is there one here too, I guess, maybe? Oh god, really strain? Ugh. It's, I'm sorry. I know I suck at this.
Okay. Now I see it. Gotcha. All right. So I had to do three of them instead of just the two. Oh my god, but it missed. Are you kidding me? Okay, we finally did it. All right. Guys, we will always eventually get it. You just got to give us time. <laughs> I didn't know I needed to stand on there to do all three. I thought it was just two. Puzzles. This is not the puzzle channel. Hephaestus' cables are all over that node. Puzzle channels are for other cooler channels. This is the non-cool... Stay away from puzzle channels. God. The cables are moving. They're drawing back. We can climb up that vent. How do we cross? Cables are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. Oh my god, how do you miss that jump, dude? Aloy, you're losing your skills. That's a bunch of, see see these types of jumps you should not miss. You know what I mean? Like, because they're, they're magnetized jumps, so you shouldn't miss them. Which is why it's so confusing when it misses a jump like that. When you know that's what you're supposed to do, it's pretty much telling you that. I should not have missed that jump right there. Engage anti-distribution J1 Satan 
Oh, I gotta go from that one, and then I guess. I guess I gotta drop down. Oh, it should take so long to climb. Yeah, I know. So my question is with this. I, I think maybe I can get it. I don't really know. Can I make this? There we go. This will be my stash when I need it. Okay, so again, the thing about this one is you've got to like either jump down at a certain time. They don't have a thing on them. Oh, got it. You need to like kind of jump off and then glide. I eventually figure it out. What does it want? It's taken over facilities before to build deadly machines. But it wasn't always hostile. It used to be part of something good. Something called Gaia. of those cables covering that door. I think we're almost at the core. Be ready. Got your back. Oh no. What has Hephaestus done to her? Turned it into a weapon. Which sooner or later will be unleashed. And then, plain song. If my people see what it has become, if one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. Bob, are you ready? Let's make sure we're stacked up. That dome of light. Is it protecting the machine? Yeah. There should be a node I can override nearby to shut it down. I can detect 
see it, man. That's cool. And you're down. Doing absolutely nothing. Cool. Very, very cool. Good stuff. No worries. Yeah, thanks. Let's go for this. Thomas, thank you. Hey, Strain, wonder if you've seen the new Splinter Cell book. No, I have not seen it. Morning, a machine that nearly killed us. I'll have it's to look into it, though, god. for sure. I do not grieve for a god or a machine, but because I no longer know what to believe. Look, so if you want, you can go back home. Do I still have one? And if so, for how long? Can you really heal our lands? Save my people. One step at a time. But it starts now. we go. There's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Oh no, do we lose every single... Th okay, good. I was gonna say, there should be quite a bit of things to pick up here with all these... Knowledge on how to tame machines. And you can learn this? Hmm. 
All right, where is the giant creature that we did? Did I actually already grab its stuff? I can't even remember. It's from my stash when I need it. seeing anything else. I mean, right there is the big guy. Now we get the plow the horn. Bristle back. Cool. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. Let's go. Oh, we lost the ability to do it. Dang it. So there was a. No, no, it's here. Can I jump? Oh, I'm gonna. Sorry. No. Oh, Alright, it won't let me get up there. I tried. I wanted to see if there was anything on top of there. Greetings, graduates of Cradle 9. Welcome to the regional... Error. Unauthorized access detected. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. Yeah, I gotta remember to do that. Anytime I come across new enemies, make sure you scan them. Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility. Immediately. Something doesn't want us here. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah, Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. So before I do that, that's part what of the main thing. Cables in the center for? 
Make sure I can't pry this open. Yes, I'm not going that way. I know there's stuff in here. Because I literally saw it on the other side before. Looks like those cables connect to something above. Seems promising. I can find a way up there. Draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. I'm no good, JJB. Looks like another part of the facility. Door is locked. Getting through that door right now. I should turn back, see what else I can find. All right, well, I guess this isn't the right way. Looks like this might be where data is stored, but. I don't see a way to access the system. I better keep looking. Gosh, I don't know where to go then. Well, this was the only way it let me go. Dead end. Going up. All right. Outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. All right, first things first, we got three new skills and they are multiplying. I've got chills ready to go for the power that I'm supplying. It's electrifying. Sharp shot. Increase your weapon zoom while aiming with a powerful shot. Double notch. I'm gonna do the sharp shot first, I guess. Nice. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me what? figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Why did they have a clue to Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? Oh, I see you. up there might lead me to a way back in but how to reach them I 
Walker's plane song. I hope the Otaru are doing okay after the attack. Some of these rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. Aha. Another shaft. Almost like it was made for me to come through here. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Oh, We're going round, like round, go. baby. Don't seen in the brain. Double What's zoom, for? zoom, baby. Cock ready to let it go. Shimmy, shimmy, go, go up. Listen to me now. Light it up and take a puff. Pass it to me now. Oh, I penetrated it all right. Gave it a nice penetration. We'll put an ad in here right now. This helps us out, remember. No! Minerva? I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. She can live again, but only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. Is it the cease? Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Initiate heuristic matrix. Here goes. Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... 
you. Ah. Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Borrow? So? This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I have established a network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. I suggest you explore this facility, Aloy, until my initialization is complete. What's all this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. Through that door is a trail that leads towards the zone. So I could head back east if I need to, once we're done here. Correct. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. Hey, Gaia? Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. This is what is called a bathroom. There are three she-cells you must use in order to wipe your arse. Shall I show you? What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse Aspirin sat to sleep in the night before the Proven. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. Looks like another office. If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did, with the help of machines. So this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. All right. Fanghorn override. We already have that. Oh, you can craft overrides for different... <sighs> we already have the Fanghorn override, don't we? At least I thought we did. We already have these. We already have them, right? I don't need to waste this, right? Do I actually? No, we should have already, because I already did a scrapper, right? I'm pretty sure that I don't have to do this. Huh. 
Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. That door leads to the west exit. But before you leave, we have much to discuss. Right. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do it then. We already went to the cauldron and said we unlocked these overrides. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... sabotaged things. There wasn't supposed to be this... Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. All right, so I think that's it. It says explore the base, but I don't... I don't see anything else left for us... to explore. Here we go. Now we're back here. Sweet. Okay. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Aloy, you have now visited all accessible rooms of the facility. Looks like some kind of storage room. No good. Doors locked until Gaia can restore access. I'll wait here. Anybody know the code? Unfortunately, I don't know a code here. Keep an eye out for any data in the facility that can help. Well, I guess I should go back. There you are. Should we keep looking around? <sighs> Clearly, there's something Good. on the door's locked until the other side of the room there. Access. All right. No, I'm not going to spoil it. We wait. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. 
Yeah. But two big ones first. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the Master Override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... Uh, a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Martians! Okay, so... What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Anchors. Oh, look I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? 
They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... I told you that that... What if, what if that ship went yes, out there? That is my conclusion. Oh man, that is so cool. I'm so glad they're going with this type of uh, story. That's awesome. Have I seen all these already? The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... Irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. Yeah, this story is awesome. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three Sounds like of those my second functions wife. have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. I think they should do a movie like they did with uh, <clears throat> Final Fantasy, Spirits Within. Do you remember that CGI movie back in the early 2000s? They should totally do 
like a Horizon movie or something like that. You don't need to have a live action movie. You could easily do a CGI movie and people will still see it. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions, which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth. Human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. I don't know, but something tells me if we do all of this, and she ends up turning for whatever reason, because she is, does have a, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. That is a lot of exposition, baby. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. I do love the whole, like, the whole, they're aliens now, technically. I mean, they're from Earth, obviously, but now they're the aliens because they've been over a thousand years. They're not, they're not the humans from this planet anymore. All of those humans died. So technically they're, they're the aliens now. You said Sirius is really. Uh-oh. Spaghetti-o. Hold on. Just a sec. All right. far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Dude, can you imagine if we get to explore so space in the third game? That would be so cool. Have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years, at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 
0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. Of course there are ancestors and all that, but they're technically the aliens now. And they're the illegal aliens because they don't have the proper visas. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil! It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders? Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Well, we clearly saw that... They had, they had captured her whenever they found Aloy, and they took her back. So my guess is she's, she's, she's doing this stuff really against her will. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. You know what would have been really cool? Because they're obviously our old ancestors, or what I like to call the illegal aliens. They've been here, right? Because they're here on the planet. It would have been cool in the first game if you saw like a twinkle in the star, which could have represented like their ship, but there's no way that Aloy or or anyone would ever know what the heck it is because they don't know anything about space. That would have been a cool thing to do. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. 
smart lady, man. I love this story so much. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore, might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Uh, your mom's house. Let's let's just go straight to the end, baby. Let's just do this. Let's do it. No, no, let's not. I think I'll head for Ether. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and 
A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can it's do It's San well? Francisco. Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. All right, we established a base of operations. Gaia, what is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of... ...drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but... ...the drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds, I could get the data from them, use it to reconnect them, and restore the display. Error. Data missing. Okay, we got two. Error. Drone feed disconnected. Huh? Well, two of them looks green. That's Error. drone offline. All right, I guess we can't do any of that yet. Okay, I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Well, there's only one door. There it is. Ooh, the snow brought the chill. Man, that is still such a huge area to explore. We still haven't even done everything over here. Lots of side missions. We're going to head back to Plain Song.
Where'd everybody? Hunter to hunter, let's trade. Okay, she's still here. What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the chorus. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. So is your mom. How was Kalai chosen to join the chorus? The chorus chooses its own, but they can't do so in isolation. They must listen to the people. Kalai was a growing voice for new ideas instead of old traditions, and her beliefs were catching on. We cannot deafen ourselves to dissonance, unpleasant though it might be. So you had to admit, Kalai, or risk legitimizing her ideas even more. The Outlander catches on quick. The Rite of Discovery. What is it exactly? It's a pilgrimage to the Promontoria. The place where the first Utaro beheld Plainsome. Kalai was to follow the path our ancestors took. Mark her eyes with dye and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the promontory itself, joining the marks of those who came before. Every new chorus member used to make the journey, but because of the derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to, but as was her way, she ignored our warnings. She thought it would lend strength to her point of view. She needed to prove that she respected the old ways, even as she advocated against them. Then maybe more people would listen. Kalai was carrying a pouch of seeds? Every Utara keeps one. We choose the seeds at a young age, taken from the plants of our forebears or those of other significance. And when one passes, their seeds are returned to the land that nourished them, so that life may spring again. Which is why I want Kalai's pouch. Her seeds deserve to be planted in plain song. The river will carry the seeds to new soil, where they will take root and flower. But they won't be at home. It's the best we can hope for. What were Kalai's political beliefs? Radical. You would have gotten along. Plain song is dying. But Kalai believed we don't have to die with it. As the wind carries the seed to distant lands. She proposed that the Utara leave Plainsong and seek out a new home. We are bound to this land. A tree cannot pick up its roots even as fire approaches. But you're not trees. It doesn't matter now. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. All right, so we got this mission called The Root That Binds. It's a level 15 mission. And we also have the... Tori. This is the one that takes us all the way up there.
Man, I just can't believe, like... How amazing this game is. Aloy. Good to see Do you. Do you need rations, Hunter? Something wrong? Sounds like someone's in trouble. It's Jax. You heard some rumor about Tanakh loitering around where they're not supposed to be. Took off south for Stone's Echo the next day to find them. Damn fool. Who is this Jax, exactly? My friend. Ain't it obvious? Bit younger than me. Can still move without every bone creaking. <laughs> Knows his way around a bow, too. Good company to share a drink with. When there's sweet sap to drink anyway. But I told him, stick your hand in bramble and you're bound to catch a fist of thorns. Maybe I should find this guy. Stone's Echo, he said? That's right. Uh, if you don't mind me, these roots aren't gonna dig themselves. A tribute apart, which is also a level... 15 which let's see there's this one that's the hunting grounds promontory We'll do this one. I mean, yes, you can get very, very overwhelmed with everything you can do here, guys. I mean, it may seem very daunting. here outlander the name's Jax. a squad of tanakh is holed up in that cave i think they're in trouble at least one of them is injured i'm here to offer help but with the tanakh such an offer might be perceived as an insult even when help is needed will you stand with me i saw you speak before the chorus so i know you can be persuasive and if things get out of hand i will be stronger with your spear at my side i'll do what i can Camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood. Just to parlay. You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. So far, so good. from the desert, aren't we? This one was blinded. Boy, nothing gets by you. Looks like your training mission didn't go according to plan. We're here to help, if you want it. How does an Utaro know we're on a training mission? He knew how to request a parlay, too. 
He's not Utaru. Or Tenax. He must be a veteran. A veteran? I didn't think there were any left. We don't need help from a washed out farmer. Could have fooled me, judging by the look of things. Sister, it sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let them? What have we got to lose? You said you're on a training mission? A machine hunt. The final test before a young squad goes on active duty. Everything was going fine. We tracked a claw strider and hit it hard, but it fled into a herd of bristlebacks. One charge right at Kore. He dodged just in time and landed a strike as it passed. I hit an acid canister. The spray was like fire in my eyes. A terrible wound. I should have scouted ahead. Spotted the herd. No. I should have spotted that canister. What does it mean to be a veteran? I was born to Nock, but offered to Utaru in exchange for tribute. Tribute? Back when there was plenty, the Utaru offered yearly gifts of food to the Tanakh to keep peace between them. Over time, this tribute grew into an exchange of people. The Tanakh needed able-bodied youth to fight their clan battles. And the Utaru needed veteran soldiers to train the defenders of Plainsong. I was just such a soldier. Was being the key word. You may yet need my spear, young warrior. What do you need? Supplies. Dried meat, ammunition, weapons, camping equipment. A lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert. Everything we need is at River Watch. A huge cache of war spoils up there, left over from the route. The route? When our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss, made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of River Watch, and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there. Ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on the brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? No, but your injuries are. Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some... Fine. Come with us. Fine. The three of you hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. Look, every mission is just every even side missions are so thought out. You actually care. I mean, that's what it's all about. That's how you know you've made a good game. When you actually care about the side content. The ruin is this way. Once we get those supplies, everything will be fine. So you say. What's that supposed to mean? Your brother's condition is... That's not your problem, farmer. So you say. Stop saying that! Hey, calm down. We're trying to help, remember? So you say. <laughs> we'll have to cut across the river. Avoid the outlander camp down the road. Trespassers. There are strangers in these lands. Just like you, Eagle. Another <laughs> side mission right there. Frost will help here. Oh, something wrong. I hate getting wet. Tough as a ravager, this one. I heard that.
we're here. The entrance should be right under that arch. I'm going to move the right there. No, Aloy's on point. Follow her lead. What if I can try to override? It's too fast. I gotta wait. He comes back through here, so there's no reason not to. It's not what I wanted. But I don't know. I think it was that that saw me. Wow, they're pretty good at fighting. Credit where credit is due, young one. Maybe I would have handled it better if I wasn't busy covering you, old man. Aren't I I I I can. I guess the farmer hasn't lost all his fighting spirit. Supply should be up there. Taller than I thought. What's a deadly climb to Eagle Squad? What are you trying to say? Hey, Josh, how you doing, bud? Enough. I'm a good climber. I'll grab the supplies. Come. Let's see if any of these machines have parts we can strip. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two. What could a farmer possibly know about salvage? Only decades of experience compared to your very brief existence. Okay. Gotta find a way into the ruins. Let's 
to my stash later. like some kind of basement. Gotta find a way up. So it look like it look it looks like it's a light from her staff that lights up. That's why we can see things. Thank you all for the subscriptions for those of you that are new. If you're watching, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hopefully you can call this place home. It's another one of those things that we just don't have the ability to mess with yet. Figure out how to get in there. Something about that. Maybe we can climb those at some point. Keep looking. This isn't the cash I came to find. Oh, 
not sure how to get into that, but... the supplies won't last them very long. I can't leave that kid alone for a second. Jax and Sakura are in trouble. I gotta catch up to them. Get in there and take down those machines. mouth. I tried to get it out, man. It just would not. He didn't want to get out. No more enemies right here. I 
I don't think it saved us taking out this thing. I better check on Jackson Sakura. Hi. Well fought, <laughs> Eagle. Though I would have preferred if you hadn't taunted that thing. What did you find? Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. It was supposed to be more. Enough for... It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakh will kill Korra from being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way. But it's still a death sentence. So you were gonna use the extra supplies to live in the wilds? I thought it would be enough to get us started. Can't they stay in Plainsong? Plainsong has too many mouths to feed. The Chorus would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young Sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can. Beautiful mission, though. I can get it for my stash later. What does the fox say? I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play, discovering as much as possible. It's been my pleasure always to bring it to you.
Oh, you little. the truth plain and simple Aloy we were just about to head in so what will you tell them that we'll have to make do survive in the wilds without the supplies that will be a hard life better than letting Cory be killed if we go back there must be another way I don't see one so we're all stocked up then the cache was empty but we'll be all right without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax, you said Plainsong has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but what about just- I am not leaving my brother behind. He'll be safe in Plainsong, and the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. The Chorus won't like it. But if I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Korra wishes. No! You're not taking him! Sakura, I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong, and no Utaru or Tanakh can stop me. They will be foolish to try. I'll stay and help them pack their gear, then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. Rare combination. You have my thanks and theirs too, I'm sure. What a great little side quest, right? Look at that. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. All right, everything just feels good. All right, I'm confused. Uh, we got all those. See, it doesn't show up. Well, we can get it. Must be a glitch or something, because it doesn't show up on the bottom right of the screen. So the only thing left to unlock in this is literally just this right here, which I think it's it's three. So there you have it. It will only take a short while, then we'll be on our way. Feel like I did a good thing, you know? Apex, it's an Apex one, so it's a level 48. I think that's just too high for us right now. I don't think I could I don't think I could do this.
I'm very much too squishy at the moment, exactly. I have too much squish in me. I need a little bit less squish. Okay, we have got four weapon upgrades. This is great. Um, do I finally got a weapon upgrade to my strong arm? No. We need the claw strider razor tail. We could do a thing to get it, but... Do the frost blast. We need the forge fire. Truncaster. We can do the level three in the shop. Yep, because we got a burrow. Might as well. There we go. And of course we can do this. Looks like we can we can do level three. Can't do level four and we can't do level two. It's so weird how we can we can do this one, but we gotta get to two before we can Nice knockdown power. There you go, level four. Enhanced weapon with coils. Equip a weapon of any tier with two coils. Knockdown damage, reload speed. Perfect. Ooh, so we got another one. Oh, that's a good one, too. For quiet quill kills, it improves the silent strike. But let's be honest, it's not as cool as this guy. Got better fire damage. And frost. This sucks against frost. But it is what it is.
stash this away for later. Little camp for you guys. Not again. From the Nora. Coming by. not so much. You told me they were the best delving crew in the claim. Y you told me we'd be drowning in artifacts. Well, I found this, didn't I? It's a tray. By the sun, man! Not even the most accomplished crafters of Meridian could pull off such symmetry. I wonder what the old ones served on it. Appetizers? Seafood? It's a tray! Who are you? Rushavid. You wouldn't recognize the sun if it hit you in the face. This is the savior of Meridian, the one who sees the unseen. You've come for them, haven't you? Uh, them? The relics. The lake is full of them. Something big happened here in ancient times. You mind if I take a look? Whew. That's a lot of data. <laughs> Um, should we be sending for a healer? Whatever this is, it all points to something called a mobile cover system. Oh! You mean a cover for the tray? No. More like something that could come handy in a fight. Where did you find this? Uh, the dig site, uh, which is now crawling with machines. And unless they magically disappear, we are leaving! Don't you want to find out what actually happened here? Maybe we still can. So Bear says his brother begins his MOS tomorrow. He's a Marine musician. Well, that's awesome. If he has any questions on it, you know, uh, just uh, send them to our Discord or whatever, and I'll answer any questions. Uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking that you mean he just finished his basic and he's going to be heading towards his school of music because if he's a marine musician he's going to go to the same place that I went to because all the uh, all the musicians in the entire military um, go to uh, go to the school of music so it's a great place to learn about being a, a military musician so if you have any questions just let me know what drew you to this place in particular Every good expedition starts with a rumor. When the Tanakh chased our forces out of the West, returning soldiers described this lake, rife with signs of the ancients. I knew as soon as I heard the tales that its waters promised a bounty of artifacts. A promise that hasn't been kept, at least so far. Those who are patient will be rewarded with sunlight when clouds pass. There's plenty of ruins in the east. Why come all the way out here to look for artifacts? Ah, well, while my colleagues scour the same old ruins, I intend to blaze a new trail. Loquacious Gendas, the first scholar to discover the secrets of the West. Why, I'll be as famous as the great scribe Aram. You don't seem to share his optimism. I sell artifacts to nobles. Ideally, trinkets that are a little more glamorous then seafood trays! You can be so boorish. Somebody's gotta pay for expeditions like these, and so far we haven't found anything that'll cover my costs! Yep, that's where I went. The, uh... Uh, it's called Amphibious Base, uh, in, uh, in Virginia. Um, great place. Lots to do around there. Uh... Norfolk is close. Uh, Virginia Beach is right there. Lots of great restaurants. He's going to really enjoy it there. That's the school of music. So you got attacked by machines at your dig site? It was horrifying. When we arrived, the site seemed as calm as a gentle breeze. I saw a glint in the water and waded in. It was the tray. 
I was so enamored with it, I didn't even see the machines closing in. I barely escaped with my life. I was there. You actually had a pretty good head start on them. Easy for you to say, gawking from a safe distance. In any event, I had hoped the Asaram would deal with them. They're supposed to be the best delving crew in the claim. Instead, all they do is moan about hazard pay. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance, unless we can find some booty to cover my investment. Where's this dig site? Seems like the best place to start if I'm gonna follow up on this mobile cover system. Maybe I can figure out what actually happened here. The site is just behind us, up the lake to the west. I knew it was no coincidence our paths crossed, Savior. Imagine what stories you'll bring us once you search the lake with your second sight. Hopefully just the truth. The sun has truly shined upon us this day. There's another quest, except this one is a level 22. So this one is obviously really, it's a little bit above our pay grade right now. That's four levels off. But we have it unlocked. And we'll do it in the next stream, of course. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and save. And that is going to be it for today's stream. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I know I didn't catch up, obviously, to some of you out there. But I take my time. We tried to do as many side quests and stuff that we could fit within about a four-hour range. Even though we're already at almost four hours and 30 minutes. Because I tend to take a little longer exploring and get distracted and do other stuff. So. what we needed. Reason to stay in but other than that, thank you all for place. tuning in. I, I hope you guys are enjoying it. We'll continue on with more tomorrow. Obviously, coming up this week is going to be... Or we are going to have a stream, at least, I think, on Thursday or Friday for Elden Ring. So I hope you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy that one. It's going to be pretty much like a noob playing the Dark Souls series for the first time. So um, it, it'll be rough, but, uh, you know, it'll be uh, a lot of fun deaths, I'm sure. But other than that, with more thank you so much, all of you, for being here. It means a lot to me. Thank you for the donations that we got today, both on Super Chat as well as uh, through the uh, PayPal. So I appreciate it. You're helping me keep this channel alive because that is obviously the number one goal is to make sure that we can keep doing this uh, as a full-time job. Um, so if you do want to support the channel and uh, allow this channel to keep going and, and get uh, bigger and bigger, then uh, become a member. It's be easy. It's only cost two dollars a month. That's literally like a Mountain proper. Dew, and we all know how much everyone on this channel loves Mountain Dew. So just give up one Mountain Dew a month, and you can help this channel stay alive. Other than that, love you all. Take care of yourselves. Follow us on all social medias, and uh, check out some of my other walkthroughs. Make sure you leave a comment after this, and once this live stream becomes a video, watch it for a little bit, obviously to help that.